Hey guys, Artillery J here. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the proper disassembly and reassembly of an AR-15 or a M4 carbine. So um, the first thing you're going to do if you have a magazine in your weapon is you're going to press the magazine release and remove that magazine. The next thing you're going to do, and whether you have a magazine in your weapon or not, you are always going to do this, is you're going to clear your weapon. Now you want to find a safe area. Um, for instance, right here I've got this uh, cigarette barrel and underneath that I know that there's concrete so I'm gonna pull my charging handle back observe make sure that if there's a round in there it pops out it ejects which I didn't have a round in but you always do this uh, whether you had a magazine in or not you always want to make sure that your weapon is clear so um, no brass came out I released my charging handle I'm gonna move my selector lever from safe to fire while pointing in a safe direction I am going to squeeze my trigger and make sure that my weapon's clear so, we're going to go ahead and put it inside, and I will show you how to take this thing apart and put it back together. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so the next thing that I'm going to do is um, I am going to start disassembling this thing. Um, so, you, you don't really need a whole lot of tools for this. Um, I'm using a uh, just a Leatherman, or a, a Gerber all-purpose tool, um, multi-tool, and a knife. Um, so you'll see these pins right here there's one here and one here now unfortunately um, the weapon that I have these pins are really tight I actually need to file the holes down a little bit but um, I'm gonna pop these out real quick and it's just a matter of hitting them like so Okay, and you'll see if I can fix my camera here. Um, once you pop this pin out, uh, this will slide up like so. Um, I hardly ever take this pin out. Um, I'm probably not going to do it this time, um, just for the sake of the video. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, actually, you know what? I might as well. They're actually a little bit easier than they used to be to pop out. Okay, so it completely breaks apart. You got two separate sections, like so. Um, so I'm going to work on the back section first. Okay, so you've got your. Um... Oh, geez, sorry. My leg did not feel good. Okay, so uh, this is where your buffer spring is, right here. So I just apply a little bit of pressure with my thumb and you'll see there's this little pin in here. Um, right there. Um, you want to push that down. So I apply a little bit of pressure and it's really hard to do from this angle because I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so I pop the pin down and the buffer spring just pulls out. So, all right, and you are pretty much done with the uh, lower part of this weapon. So, this piece here will pop out. You can you can just pull it out. So you've got your buffer spring and uh, I believe this is called the buffer. I can't remember. It's been a while. Okay, so basically with these, when you're cleaning them, you want to knock all the dust off of them and. Uh, make sure that they are nice and dry okay and you get all of the black off of them um, because you will get a buildup of gun oil on your spring and your buffer old gun oil that's dirty and it can lead to corrosion so you want to you want to uh, clean this real good and then this part the only other thing that you need to do is down in here in the uh, trigger mechanism is you want to clean all the dirt and dust out of here but you want to be careful um, using stuff like uh, cotton swabs and stuff because the cotton will get caught on the little uh, ends of these springs and you'll have to get in there with a tool and remove it but that is pretty much it for the lower half of the weapon okay moving on to this part um, I'm going to go ahead and lower my sights 
makes it a little bit easier. Um, okay, so you want to grab your charging handle and just pull it straight back and then pull your bolt out and then pull your charging handle out. So you got your charging handle and you got your bolt. And then the upper receiver. Okay, so if you've got an M4, your hand guards will come off. Unfortunately for this one, you actually need a special tool uh, with the model that I've got to remove it. But for you M4 users, um, you will notice a slip ring about right here. It's like an angled ring that goes around. If you pull that down with your hand, you should be able to just pop the uh, hand guards off. And then once you do that, you'll clean your barrel and the insides of the hand guards real good. Get all the dust off of there because um, you don't want... You want to get as much dirt off of the outside of the weapon as you can. And I know that sounds a little bit redundant. However, um, every, every little bit of dirt on your weapon helps to hinder its performance. Um, it leads to corrosion, it leads to rust, and that's all stuff that you don't want on something that you are using in a firefight. So, um, for cleaning this, um, tell you what, I'm going to go grab a flashlight and I will be right back. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this area right here is known as a star chamber. Um, that is going to be your trouble spot for dirt and carbon to build up. So you want to get in there with any kind of a small tool that you can to try to knock out that carbon. Um, and then up in here you will get carbon on the end of your gas tube and you will get dirt built up in here. Um, Another big thing that gets in here is a little piece, little uh, shavings of brass that comes off of the brass from your rounds. So um, they they have specialized hook like metal scraper tools that you can use for this. And I actually um, have some, but I don't know where they're at offhand. Otherwise, I would be showing them to you now. For your charging handle, um, you just want to wipe it down, get all the dirt off of it, and that's pretty much it for that. Okay, now we're going to disassemble the bolt. So your bolt you've got this little pin in the side here so I think I can get it with my nails yep if you can't get it with your nails um, you can use like a flathead screwdriver like um, let's see here not really a screwdriver but um, I don't know if I can get the tool out There we go. We got this little guy here. That works pretty good for popping it out. Um, or the tip of a knife. Just be careful you don't cut yourself with it. Um, but if you're doing this, you're probably an adult anyway, so just be careful. Don't slice your hand open. Okay, now we got the pin out. Pin's right here. Next thing you want to do is just turn it upside down and pull out your um, firing pin. Um, this you are going to wipe down. Um, you will get buildup of carbon down around this ring here you can see I've actually got some on mine um, you'll get it around the ring up here and this will have like a black um, either liquid or powder on it depending on how long it sat there um, and that carbon does get pretty hard um, because it's carbon and it gets hard when it sits so anyway you want to clean your pin up real good and you want to make sure that the little divot on the end here is sticking out because otherwise you've got a bad firing pin. Alright, now, the rest of your bolt, um, this will be sticking out, you just want to push it in, and then you'll see this little guy right here that rotates. See it? Okay. Um, you're just going to pull it straight out, like so. It should look like that. Next, you're going to pull this piece from the uh, bolt, and you'll see a little tiny pin on here. Um, it's right, it's right there. All right. So you want to apply a little bit of pressure right here, and then just pop that pin out. And you'll see it comes out the back side there. You just slide it out. It's a really small pin. It's very easy to lose. Um, when I was in the military, I had a lot of guys lost that little pin, and it's a bad day. And then this just pops off here, and I've got a dog hair. Okay, so you'll see there's a little bit of black on my fingers. Um, that's just built up gun oil 
that was on here from last time I cleaned it. You can see it's a little bit wet in there. I don't, I don't know if you can actually see it, but okay. So that's the entire thing disassembled. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, nothing major to it. So I'm going to show you what the whole thing looks like with all the pieces out. So, all right. And that is all of the pieces for this weapon. Um, unless you break down the trigger mechanism, which I don't do. That's above my level. Um, and, of course, the hand guards, but mine don't come off. Uh, you need a specialized tool, and I don't have it. And um, I actually don't even know where I can get it. So, all right. Um, that's disassembling the AR-15 or M4. So, now I'm going to show you how to reassemble the AR-15 or M4. So you're basically going to go in reverse order. You're going to take this piece of your bolt and you're going to place it in. Make sure that this little spring, oh, make sure that this little spring piece here is on the inside up against this thing. And then in the back you should see these little divots like so. Um, you're going to take that little tiny pin and it just slides right in the hole, right? Like that. So that piece is back together again. Next, you're going to slide that piece back into your bolt. All right. And grab this flashlight again so you can see what I'm talking about here. All right. Down in there, you'll see this little hole. And you want to line that up. You want to rotate it so that it's lined up so that you can slide that pin back in there. Um, this pin right here. So that's going to slide in. And then you're going to rotate that. You'll see that it's um, you'll see the position it's in now. I'm going to rotate it. And you'll notice now it it stands vertically instead of horizontally I guess. Um, okay so that's in there. Just pull this piece back out. All right? And then you want to block these holes right here with your hand and just drop your pin in from the top like so. Your pin will pop down in there. Now, this piece here can be a little bit tricky getting this pin to go back in here. Um, what I do is I will try to put it in try moving it around a little bit because it does have a little bit of play and if I can't get it in I'll look and make sure that my hole goes all the way through which it does and then I will attempt to slide it in again and I will just keep trying until I get it okay I actually stopped recording and then immediately got it in alright so um, different things with this can be uh, a little bit tricky for different people um, just depending on how you do things that piece right there is always tricky for me other people have a lot of difficulty cleaning the star chamber which I'm actually pretty good at um, it just depends on uh, how you do things so alright next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna take your charging handle and you're gonna place it in and while pushing it towards the top of the weapon you're gonna move it forward a little bit until you feel it pop in to place and it pops into place. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it on here. Um, there's like a little tiny divot in here um, that it pops in on. Um, I'll try to circle it in the uh, video when I'm editing so you don't see what I'm talking about. But it basically just pops down in there and it's not too difficult to get it to line up. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your bolt and this piece right here is going to slide inside of your charging handle I'm trying to make sure that I get this on camera All right, and then just slide it forward oh, I see what happened that's down All right. just gonna slide it forward seat it in place 
and make sure your charging handle is pushed in. Otherwise, your charging handle is going to slide out. Your bolt's going to come flying out. Um, whenever you're putting this, trying to put this thing back together, and it's going to be a bad day. All right. So next, I'm going to take my buffer, slide it into my buffer spring. Make sure that you hear that click and that it's set in there. All right. And then just slide the spring in the hole. Push back until it clicks past that pin. Once that's in place, you are simply going to pop that back together like so, and then Pop your pins back down. Like I said, my pins are really tight in there. I really need to do something about that. But there's your M4 or AR15 fully reassembled. Um, not too time consuming. It took me a lot longer because I was explaining things and uh, still got it done in uh, about. 10 minutes so um, usually if I'm doing this uh, when I'm cleaning it um, I can pull it apart in about a minute and a half or so and uh, put it back together in about that much time not too difficult um, the only time that I ever really get stuck is with that one pin that I have trouble with and I actually didn't need my knife um, so basically you can just use a multi-purpose tool flashlight for cleaning. Um, other things you're going to want to use for cleaning. I'm going to rotate the camera around here. Make sure that I'm in frame. Hopefully I'm in frame. Alright, um, basically uh, whoop, this tripod is very sensitive. Um, basically to clean uh, I use a multi-purpose tool. Um, I use Q-tips. I use cot or cot cotton swabs, not Q-tips. Um, I've got a couple of little metal picks that I use. Uh, a cotton cloth, which I've got a bunch of t-shirts, old t-shirts that I just ripped up and I use those. Um, what else? Uh, gun oil. and uh, That's pretty much it. So it doesn't take too much to clean these things. Um, you want to make sure that it's clean and maintained. Um, every time you shoot it, you want to take it apart. Once you get back from the range or uh, from wherever you were shooting it at, you want to pull it apart, clean it real good, get all that uh, nasty carbon off of there, and um, put it back together. And then I usually pull mine out about uh, once a month, pull it apart, knock all the dust off of it, make sure that if there was any spots that I didn't get completely clean the last time I shot, um, like I said, that can lead to rust and, and uh, a little bit of rust buildup. So I will knock that off and make sure that it's clean real good um, about once a month. So um, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little bit different. Um, I know it wasn't uh, video games. It wasn't art. It wasn't anything like that. It was guns. But I like guns. I've got a lot of them. I love to shoot. Um, so I, I wanted to do a video for you guys um, on how to do this. So really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.